What's up YouTube, it's the Casual Air Gunner here and today I decided to give one of my old jackets one last hurrah before it finally gets scrapped. As you can see, this leather jacket is flaking. The material under it is still intact and still solid, but it's you can't wear it anymore. And the moment you take it off, you would get all these black flakes all over you. Now I've had this jacket for a long time and I feel like it deserves one last honor. So what I'm going to do is test its ability to stop air gun pellets from various air guns. I have a piece of cardboard set up inside the jacket right here, so we'll be able to see if any of the pellets go through and then go into the cardboard. Of course, we're going to be testing everything ranging from a spring BB gun to a PCP-22. First up, of course, is going to be the Daisy Red Rider, and I'll be shooting these zinc-plated BBs. All the shots are going to be from 5 feet away. This is the spot where it hit right here, and as you can see, it pretty much didn't do anything. Didn't even dent the leather. So how about something a little more powerful, like this Umarex CO2? I'll be shooting these pellets from now on because I prefer pellets over BBs anyway. Let's aim for the same spot and see what happens. Well, you can see the pellet definitely made a tear, but it still didn't go through. Now we're going to move up into the territory of air guns people actually use to hunt stuff sometimes. Let's try the Crossman American Classic, shooting the same 177 caliber pellets. That one definitely went through, and you can actually see the hole right there, but it looks like it did not exit out the back. I don't see any hole back here. Now, I'm pretty sure this one's going to go all the way through the jacket. Next one is going to be my Daisy Powerline 880 at 10 pumps. Just went straight through it like it was nothing. You can see the entrance hole right here. It exited here and took some of the lining with it, went in there, and out the back, and stopped at the wooden board at the end of this. At this point, we really don't need to move up to the brake barrel air rifles, because we already know exactly what's going to happen. In terms of a spring BB gun or a CO2 air pistol, it won't go through a leather jacket at all. This is pretty significant, because normally CO2 air pistols have the ability to go about two and a half inches into human flesh. So the fact that the leather jacket stopped it means there is some degree of protection there. Against a multi-pump pistol like this Crossman American Classic, it probably gives partial protection as it wasn't able to penetrate the back layer, meaning it had to have slowed down the pellet quite a lot after the pellet passed through it. But once you get to a Daisy A80 or anything more powerful, you're kind of out of luck. This just goes to show how ridiculous it is when people claim that, oh, somebody wearing a leather jacket might not feel a 22. This is a 22 long rifle round and it's 10 times as powerful as the Daisy A80, and the leather jacket didn't stop the Daisy A80. So would a leather jacket actually provide any kind of ballistic protection? The answer is actually yes, but not significant enough to stand up to any firearms. Now, if someone just comes up to you and starts shooting you with a CO2 air gun, which has happened to some people, the leather jacket will stop the pellets from going into you. But against air rifles and firearms, it's not gonna do much. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it if you did. Check out my channel if arrogance are your thing. Thanks for watching.